Hello, welcome. I wanted to talk today about the collective heaviness that I'm currently feeling since the eclipse that we just had in Libra on the 14th of October. And I, I just finished a session not that long ago with a client. And through that session, I was getting a lot of downloads and a lot of insight into what we are all collectively going through and experiencing and feeling at this time. So I felt really called and guided to hop on and just share the insights that I've just gained so that you can understand why you're feeling heavy and why you're feeling, you know, tired and worn out and just exhausted from this energy. It's very intense. It is definitely very transformative. This energy is also because the eclipse illuminated our shadow there is this absolute unraveling of our shadows at this time. And this will play out for like the next six months. So I'm going to recommend that you really invest more time and more energy into caring for yourself, into taking care of yourself, uh, particularly emotionally and spiritually, physically, of course, too. Um, you know, doing different self-care practices, spending more time in meditation, grounding your energy, Anything and everything that you can do at this time to nurture yourself, take breaks, um, go, you know, do fun things, go for coffee, go for walks, spend time outside. Like there's just things that we need to do right now just to help sort of break up this intense energy of transformation because it can be so incredibly intense to go through a huge internal change that if you don't give yourself some breaks, you will experience spiritual burnout. And I know because I've experienced this before. And what happens is, is when you get to this place of spiritual burnout within yourself, then you're really going to struggle just with like daily tasks. You're going to have such a hard time trying to get through your day, trying to anything that you have to do you know, throughout your day is going to be a struggle. And it might already be a struggle for you right now. So you may already be experiencing a certain level of spiritual burnout, right? So I'm really guided to, to help people understand that this is something that you have to move through. There's no way around it for any of us, because I'm moving through it too. I feel the heaviness. I felt it since the eclipse and have continually been feeling it since the eclipse. Um, and I definitely had a sort of a peak moment yesterday where I felt um, just not that great. And, and there was a lot of mental chatter. And that's the other thing that I wanted to mention is you might notice at this time that there is an incredible amount of mental chatter, so much self doubt, self loathing, um, putting yourself down and not feeling good enough. Imposter syndrome, like so many of these feelings might be surfacing for you right now. And it's surfacing because it's the shadow illuminated. This is what God wants you to see. It wants you to see your shadow for real, for what it is and do something about it and really work through it. And yesterday, last night, while I was having this like ego battle within myself, like we are literally battling our egos at this time because when the shadow is illuminated, which many aspects of the ego are shadow, when that is illuminated, you have to face the reality. You have to face your fears. You have to face everything that you don't like about yourself. And when the ego starts to die, when it starts to be illuminated and caught, right? When you start to realize that it's your ego that always gives you those self-doubt um, type of uh, dialogue, right? That's what keeps repeating and looping and cycling that self-doubt uh, dialogue within your mind, the ego starts really freaking out. <laughs> and I was explaining this to this lady, like when your ego starts to freak out, you, you have to see it for what it is. It's truly freaking out because it knows it's dying. It knows that the, the jig is up, that it, it no longer has the kind of power over you like it had before. And this is power over the spirit, right? Our ego always has power over our spirit. Your spirit, your soul, your essence of who you are is divine. That is from God. And that soul is always seeking balance. It is always seeking to come closer to God, to feel at peace, to feel 
unconditional love, right? Because when you think of God as an energy, what is God? God is an energy of absolute unconditional love of creation, right? And so our souls desire to emulate and to embody unconditional love and to put out into the world our creations of that unconditional love. But the ego always gets in the way of that. And so over the next six months, I strongly feel that for many, many people, the ego is going to very intensely like attack. It's like this internal attack. It's like an absolute battle within yourself that you may be experiencing. Like I said, it came up really strong for me last night and I had to keep checking in. Is this mine? Is this collected? Is this mine? Is this somebody else's? Um, and, and quite a bit of it was mine. It was my own ego coming up and it was being triggered and it was just really wanting to keep me small. It wants to keep me in that state that I have been in uh, for a period of time, right? It wants to stay in control and continue to lead my life based on that small self, that ego self. So, but when you're ready, when you're past that, like when you're ready to evolve, past that and grow out of that um, energy, then you're going to find the battle. And that's why there is a battle within yourself, because your higher self and your ego are trying to reach balance, right? Because the higher self isn't battling the ego, the ego is battling the higher self, right? The higher self is just there, it is, um, it is constantly seeking balance, and it is constantly seeking equilibrium between the ego and itself the higher self because our ego isn't bad i don't want you to get this like perspective that oh my god my ego is bad because sometimes i <laughs> fall into that trap myself where i just like oh my stupid ego and blah 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 right but it's not bad our ego is there for a reason it is there to protect you it is there to to bring a certain uh understanding and a certain perspective about different things in your life but it's when it takes over when it's in control when it's constantly trying to keep you small that's when you know that it's completely out of balance and out of whack and because collectively people on this planet have been moving through this massively egotistical energy right we've been in this um patriarchal e e ego egotistical energy for such a long time uh, and divine masculines and masculines, I'll just say masculines right now specifically are exceptionally struggling. And I see it and I feel it. it and they're struggling because they are moving through a rebirth process of Christ consciousness within them. They are moving through this rebirthing the divine feminine energy within them. And divine feminine energy is what it is nurturing it is loving it is kind compassionate understanding right divine feminine energy is vulnerable it is emotional it is it's it's all of these soft things and that softness that gentleness and that that power actually that divine feminine power has been suppressed in men for so long and for so many generations that that is what is now unfolding that is the cycle that is ending. It is breaking up and breaking open and allowing that divine feminine to now be embodied within men. So that being said, you know, men out there that are struggling right now, that's why you're struggling because you're going through a huge upgrade. And this upgrade is literally forcing you to, to start moving back into balance. And that balance within you is to be vulnerable is to be okay with your feelings. You know, it takes strength, right, for a man to be able to show his feelings and still be a man, right? Uh, it's it that that's what true masculinity is. So, like I said, this is a huge evolutionary process. We're not doing this individually only. We are doing this collectively. The whole planet is moving through this, and for 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 women, um, we are moving through coming into harmonization with our divine masculine side. So coming into balance within the self where women need to be actually less independent. There's too much independence in women today because 
Um, that's how society has trained us to be, right? And so that uh, overly independent, I can do it myself, I don't need a man, all that shit is now falling away. All of that is now starting to break apart completely energetically. And so women are getting this divine masculine awakening within themselves, while men are having a divine feminine awakening within themselves. So I just wanted to quickly share that because people need to understand what's happening right now. And it's so intense. I feel it. I feel it. The client that I just had feels it. So her husband feels it. So it's a very difficult time that we're moving through, but also simultaneously like a very powerful time. So if you're able to really up your self care game, your self love game, you're going to have huge success moving into 2024 because you're going to open yourself up. You're going to come back into balance and harmony within yourself. And you're going to be able to release all of those bad programs that we've been carrying for millennia. Right. Uh, and genetically within our um, lineages, within our uh, ancestors, all of that is now dissipating, healing, coming back into harmony and balance. So it's a big deal. And that's why it feels so intense. <laughs> and I just wanted to put that out there and help you understand so that you can have an easier time. Like I said, self care, self love. Okay, those are like your two best friends right now. Make them your best friend, do things that feel good, so that you can not fall apart so that you can keep yourself somewhat in balance while you are going through this massive transformation. So that's my message about what is currently happening, the energy that I'm picking up and feeling right now. And I sincerely hope you guys take care of yourselves so that you can have an easier time on the journey. I've been doing that for myself. I'm going to be going out for a walk soon. So we need to do this right now so that we can get through this. And together, we will get through this. So drop in the comments below if you're struggling with anything specific or, you know, share because it helps us all feel like we're moving through this together. It helps us all feel like we're not alone and that we can move through this together, even if it's hard. You know, doing the work is always hard. Always. Transformation is hard. However, it is greatly, greatly worth it. So thanks so much for watching. Hit a like on your way out. Subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye.